Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys my top 10 list of my favorite sneakers to rock during the uh, fall and the winter time. I did a top 15 video for the summertime, so I figured it would be fitting to do a winter video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, but I'll be showing you guys a bunch of different sneakers, and in the description there will be links to any of the products if you guys are curious about those products. Um, to start off, this is one that is not in the running because this is a boot, and this is a sneaker video. So I could be putting Timberlands in there. Uh, in this video and then the, the Luna um, Arcos I believe these are called um, in here but this one I'm really really focusing on uh, just sneakers so uh, that being said uh, number 10 on the list is a Command Force um, which is a pair of Nikes that was a retro uh, from the 90s and I love this shoe not a lot of people love this shoe but it's definitely one that you can get for a really cheap price you can get them for probably like 90 bucks I got these ones for $75 in an outlet so they're definitely out there for really, really good prices. Um, so you should keep your eyes out if you guys actually want these. Uh, but they're high tops, super high tops. Keep your ankles warm. Uh, and I thought these ones were appropriate for uh, the number 10 spot uh, on the list. Number 9 spot would go to the Chuck High. And uh, even even at that, the, the Chuck Taylor 2s uh, and the high top model. Because it's just a nice model. The rubber sole definitely would, uh, you could step in some puddles uh, with these and you'd be in pretty good shape but it's also a, just an all-around like just a staple the low tops are more summer uh the high tops are more winter and i think that that's just generally the theme uh for the winter time just more mids and highs uh there's some exceptions to the rules though and uh we'll get into that in just a second here next on the list would be the yeezy boost 350s you could go the 750s as well if uh if you have them i personally 750s is not my cup of tea so uh, it's not a pair that I had interest in getting. But the 350s, I think you could throw in the mix because uh, of the material on the upper. It's the prime knit. It's, it's pretty thick. It is um, definitely something that, like, if you didn't wear socks with these, it would be cold. Your feet would be cold. But the Boost uh, is super beefy. And uh, so this would definitely be something you can walk around and, and have some puddle splashing uh, pictures in if you wanted to. Uh, that being said, also uh, a runner-up with the same kind of thing is the ultra boost and you can see it's very like airy through here so you definitely want to wear some socks but they, they're very snug fitting and because of that uh, I would say that this is a good one and a lot of people were wondering about the midsole uh, how they're holding up I've worn these more than a dozen times and the midsoles held up really well and I did a tutorial on how to paint uh, those if you guys are curious um, but that would be the number 10 9 8 position and then let's keep the countdown going um, so number seven we have some some runners so uh they definitely have a bunch of different types of runners these ones are the grid 9000s two of my favorite or like my favorite model and this is my special model that i got from saucony um but you can see the the kind of the wool type material on these ones you can always find sort of like a winterized winterized version of a pair of sneakers and that's what i ended up getting here uh these ones i got for urban outfitters for super cheap i think like 70 bucks or something like that Really nice materials on here though, and very, very warm. Um, and the same sort of thing runner up wise, the winterized, this is a girl's version, but a Puma. Um, and this one is, I'll put a link in the description. I can never remember the the, the model. Uh, it's a 698, I think, let me double check. Um, yeah, six. it's a R698. I can never remember if it's a 69 or uh, five or 896 or which one. Also, there's some new, um, new balance as well. Um, the 580s, and these have a lot of suede. And then there's also one of my favorite ones, which are these ones, the uh, the 998s. And there's definitely heavy suede on these ones as well. So um, that's something I will say that is definitely really nice about uh, these models with th these runners is they have a lot of like nice quality suede. And it makes it really, really easy uh, to, uh, to be able to rock those during the wintertime, even though they're kind of a summer type shoe. All right, so the number six spot on the list would go to the LeBron 11 for me. Uh, you could also replace it with, with the LeBron 12 or the 13 because of the uh, kind of upper materials, which is definitely something uh, that is, um, you could see from these ones that I Nike ID'd. It's definitely something that is kind of more weather resistant and just, just because of the way that the material is. Uh, but these ones have so much positive material on them. Uh, that these ones um, are really well, they do really well in Oregon where it rains a lot. So uh, that one is on my number uh, six spot. And then moving on, um, another one that's kind of a fan favorite in general, I guess. The number five spot is Air Jordan 11. 
definitely kind of a, a fan favorite shoe as I mentioned but uh, because of the patent leather it's also nice uh, in, the, in the weather so moving on we'll go to the number four spot which is kind of a, a menage <laughs> in a sense uh, because there's three pairs of sneakers here but it is a Nike tech pack and um, I really really like this pack that came out this year I've worn these number of times uh, to work because they're just really really comfortable shoes on top of them being really comfortable they're winterized uh, with this crazy tech fleece or tech pack sort of uh, premium material and trust me they're actually really really warm I've worn these ones a ton uh, as you can see obviously they're just definitely dented up I love the fact that they actually did this to the toe box though and made it the pressed material so it's like a lot more sturdy and then you can see I have the presto version as well uh, I do have the black versions of I think the prestos and I don't think I have the black versions of these ones I'm um, not the prestos I'm sorry the 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 Roshis but prestos are my favorite out of the group uh, and then probably the uh, the Hirachis because those things are just amazing as well so that is the uh, the tech pack and that is the number um, four spot number three spot pretty easy uh, choice is the Air Jordan 1 uh, pretty much in any colorway the high top is amazing and really nice uh, and the fact that it's just a high top gives you the added warmth uh, around the ankles and whatnot but uh, you can see I've worn these ones quite a bit and I, I don't usually wash them off before I put them in my back in my box or whatever but uh, shattered backboard ones I do have an Air Jordan 1 collection video that I plan on doing soon uh, since I do have quite a few uh, Air Jordan ones but uh, that is the number three spot and the number two spot goes to it's kind of a combination again uh, the Air Force One uh, definitely the uptown and then also the uh, the Nike dunk for me personally I'm a Nike dunk guy versus Air Force One um, but uh, they're similar in, in kind of stature uh, the Air Force One has definitely a, a beefier midsole on them and it's a lot heavier usually this one's actually pretty heavy because this is the Lux version with that quilted liner super super slept on pair of sneakers probably the most under underrated pair of sneakers that dropped um, this year and then also um, for those like that really want to uh to do it right there's the high top version of the air force one as well so that's definitely uh, a fan favorite for a lot of people i'm sure new york people uh can uh, attest to the fact that the air force one is in the top of that list uh but my number one shoe for sure uh for the winter time personally and again this is all my personal list so don't be offended or i'm not gonna be offended if you guys like your list sucks. I would I would never choose half these shoes. Or what about this shoe? I would have done this shoe. This is just my list. I mean, there's any any mid top Jordan could have been in this list. The Jordan uh, five for sure. The thirteen, uh, the twelve. It's it's really a preference game at that point. But those two Jordans, in, in my opinion, were the ones where I thought for sure. Like when you think about winter, those are the ones that that, that are kind of the go tos. But anyways, the number one spot for sure for myself is the Nike Foam Posit and. Uh, this is a beast of a shoe. They're very heavy, and a lot of people don't really understand the foam posits. They're definitely popular still in today's uh, day and age. These were originally re released in 1997, uh, but what they don't understand about them is it's a shoe that's meant to be worn, and after you've worn it enough, it molds to your foot. The posit material molds, so they do run really snug if you don't break them in. Um, but these things uh, are tanks. They're very, very heavy. The soles are are, are decent on these things, but the upper is is like a tank it's like straight up armor around your entire foot and um and that in itself is perfect for the rain like this the rain kind of just uh falls right off of that stuff obviously this area right here um is gonna have um some rain issues but that's just kind of the way it is in general but um for me personally again these ones are the number one shoe when it comes to um sneakers for the winter time uh, i definitely rock more foams probably than uh, any other time of the year and uh, that's pretty much my top uh, my top 10. I know there's more 10 than 10 sneakers out here. It's really more of like a 15, but I kind of combined uh, handfuls of those sneakers. What is yours? Uh, though? Leave a comment. Let me know what is your top uh, 10 uh, pairs of sneakers or top three. That's probably more realistic. Top three pairs of sneakers to wear during the wintertime, uh, not including any boots or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say definitely the Air Force Ones and the, uh, the Foam Posits. Uh, are most people's like top two so um, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, list I'll put links in the description again if you guys are curious about what models they are not everybody knows where to go and, and when I say what a shoe is they don't really know what it is so I'll put it in the order of of the video and then you can see and then like take you to eBay or wherever 
uh, to try to buy one of those models or at least get more information about them uh, because I think that's one of the things that's tough to translate from um, me talking to, to a video to you understanding and, and actually gaining more access and knowledge to the sneakers if you didn't really have a clue about which ones are which. Um, but anyway, that's all we have. Thank you guys for watching and catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace.